Hi, it's uh, April 5th. Um, I'm Arnold Chang, Zhang Hong, reporting from the Xianjing Cao Tang, the humble cottage of peace and quiet, which is my studio name here in Lake Parsippany. I've basically been self-isolating um, for the last three weeks or so. After Georgia and I came back from a trip in on the West Coast, we went to LA, San Francisco, and then Seattle, which was at the time the, the first uh, major outbreak of uh, coronavirus occurred in Seattle, uh, just a, a little bit before the time when we were there. So we were, we were a little bit nervous already. And so we started hand washing and, and keeping our distance as much as possible, even while we were on the West Coast. But we were concerned because we learned that uh, this virus could transmit or could, was contagious even before uh, people were uh, symptomatic. So you could actually catch it from people who didn't appear to be sick at all. So we were very, very careful even before we came back. We came home uh, the early morning of uh, March the 10th. So it's been basically three weeks since we were back and we immediately started to self-isolate just on the outside chance that we had um, picked up something, picked up the virus uh, inadvertently while we were on the West Coast and we didn't want to spread it to anybody here. Now for, for us, uh, particularly for myself, I'm very, very lucky because I have this wonderful studio that I can come to even though there, we have kind of a shelter-in-place order here in New Jersey, it's not so strict that we're not allowed to travel. Uh, so I can get in my car in the morning, bring my lunch, come to the studio, stay here all day, and I don't have to see anybody or um, I'm not, not in contact with anybody at all. I can go on my back deck and backyard and uh, get some sunlight and get some fresh air without having to to really be in contact with anyone so i'm very very fortunate in that respect then at dinner time i go home uh eat eat dinner and uh hang out with my wife and watch tv and read and then go to sleep and the next day i start over again so uh, we're very fortunate uh, that that we have this wonderful situation over the next couple of days i will uh, do some videos and hopefully figure out how to splice them together so you can see what uh, what I've been doing uh, in this period of isolation and I, I'm very grateful that uh, as an artist um, we actually might in, in the long run benefit from having a period where we don't have to deal with a lot of the outside world and we can just concentrate on uh, on trying to make art and trying to stay in touch with our friends. We were lucky also that we have so many friends in China who, who had been, been through this process already and were sharing their, and have been sharing their stories with us and their suggestions on uh, how to keep busy and how to not uh, lose your mind. And uh, we're trying to make the best of it. So stay tuned. Well, it's a beautiful Monday morning. Let's start with a quick tour of my studio, just so you can see the kind of environment that I am suffering through this quarantine. Actually, it's, it's quite comfortable. When you enter on the left is a painting that uh, my teacher Wang Jichen, CC Wang, gave to me and my wife on our silver anniversary, bamboo painting. And here we have a painted ceramic tile made by my good friend Fang Xian. Some of you know from Sotheby's. He has recently retired and has, is, is now a recluse uh, in An Anhui province near Huangshan. And hopefully we'll be hearing from him again in whatever context. He actually painted that and had it fired in Jingdezhen, where they make the blue and white porcelains. Coming up the stairs, very few people actually go to the second floor of my studio. This is my private space. On the wall here, a, an interesting work by a young uh, Chinese-American artist named Kelly Wong, which I like very much. I try to encourage younger artists. 
This is a small bedroom where I take my afternoon naps. Nothing special, but comfortable enough. Uh, on the walls, I, I think by showing you what's on my walls, you have a pretty good sense of the environment that I'm and the mood that I'm trying to create. This is actually a small fan painting by Zhang Da Chen, painted uh, for Wang Ji Chen, painted for my teacher C.C. Wang. So that that has a kind of special meaning to me. You can see the, it's hard. To, there's an inscription here. It's hard to see because of the reflection. And on the other side, a Ming Dynasty uh, artist named Chen Huan, a small fan painting as well. And uh, this has an interesting story. You see here, there is a, I bought it in a Sotheby's auction and you see 713 over two. That means that there were two items in this one lot. And there was a, a second fan painting by the same artist Chen Huan in very, very bad condition. Uh, also framed the same way. It came from the same source, so it was in one lot. And I bought those in auction, and about a year or two later, I turned around and reconsigned the one in very bad condition, and it ended up making the same amount of money that the uh, two, two paintings originally, the, that I paid for the original pair. So that was a good buy. And here is an unusual work by somebody many of you might know, uh, Stephen Little. He's a curator of Chinese art at the uh, LA County Museum of Art. He's also a very fine painter. So let's head into my office, which is right here. Very simple uh, computer, printer, uh, Books, lots of books, mainly auction catalogs, things like that, uh, exhibition catalogs, and a uh, beautiful photograph of uh, a work that was in an exhibition, I think this was in, in Beijing, of uh, like Buddhist sculptures from Qingzhou. I lost it for a second there. Uh, over here, a little little fan, a little album leaf by Lu Yan Shao, one of my favorite 20th century artists. And at each side of the window, small works by Bob Kushner, a friend of mine who is an important contemporary artist. Um, and he and I are good friends and we, I, I learned a lot about color from Bob Kushner and I also uh, uh, taught him a little bit about Chinese painting and uh, we exchanged works. He gave me these, this pair of beautiful flower paintings and I gave him in return a, a small landscape. So we're still in touch and he's an important influence. You can see I have a wonderful view from here and uh, coming in right, right, according to schedule, we have some swans who are going to enter the picture very soon. There they are. And so this is, this is where I sit and work on my computer and I turn turn left and I can see this beautiful scenery and here a work by a young artist named Ange Ang who used to also work at Sotheby's some of you may know her and it's actually a kind of a photo collage um, quite different than anything anybody else is doing okay now we're coming back downstairs and uh, Make a left here. We'll, we'll come back and look at some of the works on the walls here, but just to get, give you a sense of uh, how the studio looks. Here's a, a room that I, I store a lot of things. There's a, a kind of antique, the Li Qing uh, bed. And this is where I store a lot of my paintings and uh, paper. Got a lot of unfinished works here. Quite a few unfinished uh, Michael Cherney and Arnold Chow um, collaborations in process. This is an earlier landscape that I did that I like. And more stuff. Lots of stuff, more books. Oh, photo of 
me and Zhang Dachian, and me and Georgia and Cici Wang. And this is a, a work by my granddaughter. Who's there? Granddaughter and grandson from a couple of years back. All right, what else do we have? There's a bathroom there. Our dining area. Oh, this, this has some fun stuff. Some rocks. Photo of me by my uh, my wife's niece took that photo as well as this one down here uh, and some ceramic pieces made by the the uh, local potter Rachel Yu who is who was actually the previous owner of this house uh, she she does some beautiful ceramic work this is called horsehair raku this is a a, a wood a wooden piece that was actually in the studio of Zhang Da Chen, and a friend of mine acquired it and gave it to me many years ago. Uh, bird's nest, another Rachel Yu piece, uh, some crystal balls. What else? So, kitchen. No big deal, but perf perfectly serviceable. I can have my meals here. Painting by Shun Chun, who's a uh, Queens-based uh, painter. And you can see all around lots of views. We'll go outside later. TV, which I never watch. So here is, is the main part of the studio. You can see this is where I, I do all my work. Big table uh, that I designed and custom, custom made table with uh, drawers on this side to, to hold stuff. Lots of, lots of goodies in here. Some real, some reproductions, all kinds of things just for study purposes. And what else? This is a nice table rock that was given to me many, many years ago. And it, it, it makes a very nice portrait of the rock and willow tree. So let's see what's on the walls in here. Maybe we start start over here. This is a, one of those works that I did uh, that can be viewed from without a particular orientation. In other words, you can turn it around and it works from no matter how you turn it. That's one that I did recently. Um, some more works over here. In progress, this one is a, a collaboration with Michael Cherney. You can see this, this portion here is an actual photograph and then I've expanded upon the photograph uh, to create one of our collaborative works. Not quite finished. Don't know where I'm going yet with this, but it'll be done soon. Uh, here's a work that's uh, also still in progress. Very free kind of brushwork and inky. Uh, and this is one where if you look at it from a distance, it looks like a pretty standard kind of Huang Gong Wang-ish kind of composition. But if you actually go in close, uh, it's very, very freely drawn. And comparison to one right next to it which is I hate to use the word traditional but that that seems to work pretty well um, which which is much more like a, a typical sort of Ming dynasty version of a Yuan dynasty aesthetic I would say but 
But the interesting thing is that you see all these, see all these works that are up now, another one here, which I just finished a little while ago, uh, which is also very free and the brushwork is controlled, but quite loose. And I think for my art historian friends, the thing to realize is that all of these works are done at the same time or within days or within weeks. Shenjing Cao Tang, that's my uh, studio name written by the great Zhu Qijian, who lived to be something like 100 years old or something. And coming this way, a couple more fan paintings. hard to see with the reflection. This is a, actually an early work by a, a very famous artist, but I don't know that people would would be able to tell right away who did this. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you. This is uh, Kuan Yin. And over here, uh, a nice fan painting by Zhang Wuchang. Uh, 20th century artist who I, I like very much, so it's quite underrated. And then we get to my big painting, which I've been working on really for seven or eight years. Uh, it's on one sheet of paper that a friend of mine brought back from Shanghai many, many years ago, probably 30 years ago, and gave me this one, gave me two sheets of this paper, one of which I uh, cut into three three pieces and made three hand scrolls, and I kept this this large sheet for many many years. So I've had it at least uh, twenty years. The paper itself maybe was was ten or twenty, maybe even more older than that when when he gave it to me. So it's an old sheet of paper. Uh, I've been working on it over the years, bit by bit. And it's pretty much complete. Every now and then I add a little bit more, but I think I see the light at the end of the tunnel, as it were. And I don't know how to describe it really. It's, uh, it's not really a landscape, but it has certainly has a lot of landscape elements. And this, this painting is so big that the only way I can have it mounted probably is in China. So uh, I have to figure out how to get it to China and how to mount it. And how to get it back, or maybe I'll just, uh, maybe it'll stay in China. We'll see. So on my table, what, what else? A, little, a lot of small things. Some little fans and all kinds of stuff. And I'm busy working every day, trying to complete some of these, starting new ones. I've got plenty of uh, plenty of stuff to work on. Um, Michael Cherney sends me lots and lots of images, and uh, I get to choose. And I'm in no rush, but it's keeping me busy during this period of quarantine. Let's take a little look outside. So this is my deck. Ordinarily, I've got a lot of uh, furniture and stuff. There's a big round table that usually has chairs, but it's still uh, not not it's 
not even really warm enough yet, but eventually uh, we'll make this look really nice. When all the when all the flowers bloom, this place looks very pretty. So so far, it's a little bleak, but uh, you can see occasionally there are some flowers starting to bloom already. This is the back. Area here. People walking around. Some flowers over here that look nice. Actually, all these flowers will start to bloom. Well, here's some that are coming in. It's actually, since it's only April, this is actually kind of early. But the weather has been very weird. The flowers and the birds are very confused. We, this is where we started at the front door. And some nice trees over here. And some cypress. And pine. These trees actually were brought in from Japan. My gardener, my landscaper, is from Taiwan. Get all of this work. And this is the back of the house. And this is the lake. This is called Lake Parsippany. The town we're in is called Parsippany. There's my little house, solar panels. With a tree, and I think we'll go out on my little paddle boat for a few minutes. Okay, so here we are. There's my house, and we're now on the lake. And I'll get turn this around so you can see what I'm seeing. What's great about this lake is that there are no motorboats allowed, so it's uh, very quiet, very, very clean. That's my neighbor's house. And there's my little house studio Shijing Chao Tang I like to come out here and just paddle around see my feet doing all the work and just think it's very easy to do your social distancing here since there's nobody else anywhere around except for the occasional swan. They like to keep their distance.
that's kind of it. So this is a taste of the literati lifestyle, New Jersey, New Jersey chapter. Where Gurli Joshe Yinju. So I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. See you next time.